this morning. This is that Latvind Mini by uh, by Kaiser. Uh, I, this is that Iron Man knife. I know that I haven't gotten through all the stuff that Jared sent me, but uh, I had to put this in my pocket. It is gorgeous. First day in pockets. I've been carrying it for about three hours. Let's take a look at it from above. But first, you guys know what time it is. Turn down the volume because here comes a little bit of music. Guys, I honestly could not wait to get this knife in my pocket. This is the Iron Man version of the Latvind Mini. This thing is gorgeous. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is the striking colors. Now, this has all uh, been done in a fashion where it's it's really light and it's done really well. You get that all that polished pieces here. Now, I'm not sure I would imagine that that is that titanium coating, that gold titanium coating that you get on some things. Um, really wear resistant, really slick, but it's also gorgeous. Um, and it's also on the screws. The, I wish they'd done the pocket clip in it, but you got blue on one side, then you got the blue and gold on this side because it is the Iron Man version. So I will say these are aluminum scales. Uh, aluminum hard coat anodizing, if done well, is really really wear resistant the aluminum oxide layers that films that forms on the outside is incredibly durable i mean aluminum oxide is used as sharpening stones so i've had some i've had some of the hard coat anno on aluminum last a very long time so there's some of the aesthetics out of the way blade shape on it really nice it i mean when you look at it i'm not gonna lie to you guys like it really is like an overgrown an overgrown Swiss Army knife. It really is. It has that aesthetic and it has that functional, functional blade. So this is a nice blade shape. Well done. You're looking at just a preliminary, just under seven inches on the mat scale. Um, the action on it is pretty good. You have a back flipper. You have a front flipper and you have an N690 blade that is really good in hand so far. Like I said in the intro, I've had this in my pocket for about three hours, I believe. Um, it's pretty comfortable in hand. The pocket clip is a little proud um, and you do have a little spot here, but I'm not finding anything that's a showstopper. I will say I, the mini might not be the one for me. I may have to look at the full size version of this knife, but action on it is really good. It's just shy of drop shut, just a little shake to convince it to go down home. Um, and uh, in hand, the shape and everything's really good. You do have black back flipper, front flipper, and this is one of those ones where I can actually kind of just slow roll it. You break past that detent and just slow roll it. So I'm not horribly unpleased with that. Now, like I said, I do have to say, once again, Kaiser, your pocket clips, a lot of times are horrible. This is a really nice knife, and this is a very poor pocket clip. Let the designers design their pocket clips, please. That, that's one of the things that I'm noticing. This is this is one of those ones that's just that really does bother me because you're looking at a knife that is nice and thin. The pocket clip's almost as tall as the knife is broad, so you're doubling it here. If, if it was something where it was a little more tapered and it came down a little bit better, there are some of these. Uh, deep carry pocket clips that aren't that bad. The problem is when you put it right there, that's in a pinch point where you're grabbing that knife. That's where you're putting a lot of force on that knife. I don't know if you guys know this. These two fingers are going to do most of the gripping that you're going to do on a knife in use. These two fingers are not because if you grip up here, your whole arm's going to get tired. These are the th fingers that are causing the most force. Like you could use a knife almost without your index finger. So if you're putting pressure here, that's where your pocket clip is. It's uncomfortable. So I'm definitely gonna pro I'm definitely gonna be carrying this without a pocket clip so I can give it an honest review because I do like the knife. A um, couple other little things. The flipper tab is really, really sharp here. Like you don't have like an actual flipper. It is just a 90 degree. So when you flip that, you're pushing on that point. So the, the flipper tab itself is uncomfortable to use. If you like front flippers though, the action on it's pretty good. 
Uh, you can slow roll it. You can flip it with your thumb. I know there's people that reach up and do the, the top flip thing, front flip thing with their index finger. I can't do that um, just because of the size of my hands. And it bothers me. Uh, N690 steel, pretty good choice on this. This is a nice thin blade. N690 is a good steel in my opinion. I know a lot of people don't like it. I like N690. I like N690 cobalt better, the N690 CO. Um, so you're getting a lot of knife here. I haven't looked up price or anything. I'm not seeing any issues with centering. Uh, when you open it, you've got your liners, which are done really, really well. There's some light some weight reduction inside those steel liners that are in there. The backspacer has got some aesthetic cutouts in it that give it some nice look. And then your lock bar on, on that liner lock is really good. You've got that sculpted out area that I feel is just about perfect for access to that. That is about the a right amount of removal. And when it's open, you get that little pop of color right there. Just something awesome and beautiful. Um, this would be a knife that would be a good little EDC knife. Uh, it's not real big. It's about the same size. I don't have it. I left it inside on the, on the kitchen table. This is not really any larger than that um, Enrique Pena, uh, the Pena X Apache. Uh, so this would be something that you could take that pocket. I'm going to. I'm going to take that pocket clip off. I'm going to carry it fifth pocket carry in the watch pocket. Um, as far as pocket clip tension. It's just about right for everything. I've had pants. Uh, when I first put it in my pocket, I was wearing track pants, took my shower, put on a pair of jeans. It carries pretty well in both. I'm not seeing any issue really with centering and I haven't looked really, but let's look at the blade grind. Are we getting any asymmetry on the, the tip on it for edge grind? Maybe just ever so slightly asymmetrical, but that is a common thing with a lot of knives these days. And I don't, I don't know why companies aren't looking at it closer. You know, that's one of the things that really bothers me. You can see where it's actually kind of squared off at that very tip. Um, one side they do really well, and then the other side that gets screwed up. It could be a matter that they're doing it by hand as opposed to doing it with a machine, but I've even seen the machines do it. Spider Co's robo sharpening usually is pretty awful as well. There is a slight recurve here that I did notice when I first did it. You can see on one side, there's like a slight recurve on that edge that doesn't necessarily follow through, but it tells me that like that they got a little lower into that so sharpening this you're going to have a low spot there that you're going to have to address on the first sharpening the sharpening toil seems to cut back far enough that you're not going to get into anything uh the only thing i would be concerned is you don't have a lot of room here if i was going to sharpen if this was my knife and i really cared about the aesthetics i would definitely put some tape over here on the first sharpening but it's an attractive knife flat grind um full flat grind on it so crowned spine, I do like this crowned spine. On something like this, it's gonna work. If this was an outdoors knife or something like that, I would say leave a spot. So if you need to strike a ferrule rod or something like that, you uh, you had that available. But all in all, this is a beautifully attractive knife. Um, I like the color scheme. I am a big fan of the of the red and gold with that little bit of blue on both sides. Really, really attractive. You kind of got it. You kind of got some things that you got going on with it that we'll see how it works out in pocket. Like I said, pocket clip. Pocket clip is a is a it's a hiccup in my opinion. These these knives that they keep doing these pocket clips that are just the off the shelf ones. Not a fan. Uh, there's ways to do it. You guys have heard me talk about it on different knives that are on the channel that I've had that have deep carry pocket clips that do not bother me. And I just wish that I wish they would find a way to get away from these super tall pocket clips, because in all honesty, the pocket clip is almost as tall as like it's it's more than half the, the thickness of the knife already. So you've almost doubled the thickness of that knife in that one spot where it's going to be uncomfortable. So that's all I got on this one, guys. Just a little first impressions, first day in pocket. I do like the knife. I just have some issues with it that are probably going to get worse over time, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, a lot of times, a lot of times I'll, I will change my opinion on some of these things after carrying it for a while. I do have to say the action on this thing. It, it, it's getting better the longer it's here. So uh, I'll take it apart, clean it, put some fresh lube in it just to give it a fair shot on action. And we'll take a look at this probably here in just a couple weeks, guys. So that's it. I will see you guys when we turn this around, do some final thoughts here in just a second. Guys, like I said, this knife is beautiful. It's a lot of fun. It's a comfortable little knife. 
Uh, only one little issue that I've seen so far, I'm not such a fan of the flipper tab, but the everything else about it is done so well, so attractive. Um, Tony Stark, is that you? You know what I mean? So guys, that's it on this one. If you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down, but please try to tell me why. I can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like. If you wanna support the channel, it's as simple as like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, hit the bell icon. But if you do hit the bell icon, make sure you've got notifications turned on your device, or you won't get notified of these sometimes three items that go up a day. Other ways you can support the channel if you want to do it financially, I have a membership down below that's tier-based. Pick the tier that gets you what you want out of the membership. But remember, everyone saves $5 off my sharpening service and everyone has access to my gilded server where we chat. Other ways you can do it, I have affiliate links down below, mainly Blade HQ where you can find items like this. If you're going to purchase things, I would appreciate since basically I'm self-sponsoring my own videos with these affiliate links, that if you're going to purchase any of the items that you use my affiliate links down below, and the final way is I have a merchandise store on Ember Shirtcare where you can purchase my merchandise with my logos at a discount. I've set up a coupon code on Ember Shirtcare that works anywhere there that is 10% off any purchase. And that coupon code is Crazy Sharp, all in word, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp. Saves you 10% at checkout, guys. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I will see you in the next video.